Hey, it's Ben here from the Strength Factory and today I've got a mountain bike workout, especially for you riders over 40. So this session is taken from my over 40s mountain bike program that's being used by literally hundreds of riders across the world right now. We're gonna start off, like any good workout, with a warm up. It's freezing cold in here, so I'm gonna have a little spin. I'm gonna do three to five minutes, get the heart rate up, get myself warm and get ready to move. So I've done my little spin, I'm feeling a bit warmer, so now it's time to get my movement-based part of the warm-up. So now I'm gonna use the Train Heroic app, which is what I deliver all of the training programs on. All I'm gonna do is open the warm-up, click the thing, the YouTube video is gonna open, and we're gonna follow that along. So the warm-up process needs to include physically getting warm, moving your body in lots of different directions, and also some mobility in order to prepare you for the exercises that we're about to do. With the warm-up done, it's time to get down to work. So I'm gonna go back into the app and I'm gonna have a look. The first part of the session is made up of three exercises, effectively in a superset, which is gonna make it really time efficient. The first exercise then is a rear foot elevated split squat. So I'm gonna pop my rear foot up on a bench or low platform, and then I'm gonna slide down so the rear knee is just off the floor and then drive up hard on the front leg. The exercise is all about that front leg and meanwhile keep a nice upright posture. So I'm going to be using some weights but I always think it's a good idea to get your balance dialed in and to get your spacing set correctly just with your body weight and that way you're nicely warmed up ready to grab the weights. So double check the program, we're going to be doing 10 reps on each leg. The second part of the superset is an active hang. And what this is all about is strengthening up your posture and strengthening all the muscles around the upper back and shoulder. They're gonna to help to build the foundation to be able to do chin-ups and pull-ups later on in the program. For these hangs then, I'm gonna take an overhand grip. That means my palms are gonna be facing away and they're gonna be a little bit wider than my shoulders. So this would be a dead hang where I'm literally dangling, okay? My shoulders aren't doing anything, but now the active part is here. I draw the shoulders down and back, and you see it makes space around my head and ears. So dead hang, my ears are by my shoulders and arms. Active hang is this position here. And this is a really important skill to master in able to do your pull-ups and chin-ups safely and to get strong enough to do them. And that's why we're doing it in the program, and we're gonna be doing a 20 second active hang. Now, all of these are scalable as well. So if you're not strong enough to do that yet, you can either use a band to assist you or you can keep a bit of your weight on the floor. The third exercise is called a bottoms up kettlebell press. And this really complements the active hang in the way it strengthens and really helps the shoulder to be stable as well as strong. So I'm gonna take my kettlebell in the bottoms up position where it's upside down, nice brace core. And we're gonna press it up and down. Super smooth. And what we're looking for is 10 on each side here. And can you see there that instability of the kettlebell moving around? That's not only going to challenge your grip, but really challenge all the small like, supporting and stabilizing muscles in the shoulder. And that's what we're looking to do. As well as getting strong, we want to build that robustness through the body so that you're robust for life, for riding, and potentially for crashing as well. So that is the first part of the training session. And we've got three exercises put together. We've got the rear for elevated split squat, the active hang, and the bottoms up press. They work together as a superset, okay? Like I said, to be time efficient. We're gonna do all of them. We're gonna do the reps for each exercise, take a little rest, and then we're gonna go again, doing all of them three times round. So we do in total, three sets of rear for elevated, three sets of hang, and three sets of press on each arm. Now remember, 
this is just one workout kind of like that you're seeing just randomly on the internet. But in terms of the program, this is in training block three of the five blocks that we have in the Over 40s program. So when you're doing this session, you've already done the sessions in block, training block one and training block two, each one building on the last, getting you gradually fitter and stronger and more able to do these moves. Now we're gonna move into the second part of the session. So again, I'm back in the app here. I'm gonna have a look and the next exercise is a dumbbell step up. And we're gonna pair that up with a chin up. Now, if you're thinking, oh, I can't do chin ups, don't worry. We've got three different options in here that cater for all different levels of rider when you're training. Right then, for the dumbbell step up, again, like with the rear foot elevated split squat, I like to just get my balance first. So we're gonna get that front foot planted, make sure it's completely on the box, nice upright posture, and then it's all about driving down and crushing the box. And then the bum comes back, it's gonna lower under control. And we're just gonna hit a couple of reps on each leg to get the balance and get the height right. If you're really tall, you might need a taller box. If you're really short, then stand on something here to make the box lower. For this exercise, I'm gonna use a dumbbell in each hand, drive up, control it down. And again, we're gonna go for 10 on each leg. Now, if I were to show you head on, something we're really looking for here is the control of the knee. And what I don't want is any lateral movement here, that side to side movement. I really wanna keep the knee lined up over the foot like this, okay? So if you're not that body aware and you can't feel that, okay, then feel free to do this in front of a mirror to give you a little bit of visual feedback. You may also find if you're wearing like big squishy trainers or something like that, that you're gonna get a lot of movement and then you might be better off using either a barefoot shoe or even taking the trainers off altogether. The second part of the superset then is gonna be a chin up. And just so you know, a pull up is the hands that way and a chin up is this way. So your palms are facing you. And for most people, that's easier, especially if you do a lot of desk work and your posture's a little bit rounded forward. So just like the active hang that we went through, I wanna start in that active position and my shoulders are drawn down and back. And from there, we're gonna do our reps. I really want you to focus on pulling the bar down hard, and keeping your body nice and tight, trying not to kick the legs and so on. But if you're looking at that thinking, I can't do a chin up yet, I'm not strong enough yet, don't worry, because in the program, we have options. So option number two is that we're gonna do some lowers. Chin up lowers then, as the name suggests, are all about lowering. We're stronger when we're lowering, okay? So you should be able to lower under control even if you can't get back up. So I'm gonna stand here on a box and you may need to do just a little hop to get above the bar. Pause and then slowly try and control that lower. Have a look at my posture. See how my shoulders stay down and back here. We don't want any of this going on. I'll show you another rep then. Create some tension on the bar, start pulling on it. Get above the bar, pause if you can, and then slowly lower all the way down, step back on the box. The third option for the chin-ups is to do a band-assisted chin-up. In this case, I've got a strong green band, and this is probably where you're gonna need to start, okay? And then as you get stronger, you move to lighter bands. So we're gonna get the band under the midfoot, take the bar, Straighten the leg. And you can see there that the band gives me the assistance I need. And that is the second part of the training session. Remember, it's two exercises. It's a dumbbell step up, supersetted with chin ups or a chin up variation. And again, we can do three sets of each. So you're gonna do 10 step ups on each leg, then your chin-ups, the reps will vary depending on how strong you are. And we can do that three times round for the second part of the session. Now at this point, I'd also want to remind you that yes, we're doing this in a gym. I'm using dumbbells and pull-up bars and stuff like that. But all of the workouts in the Over 40s Mountain Bike Program also have a home training option where all you need is a set of resistance bands. So yes, this is a gym-based session, but in the program, this session 
also has an option for home training as well. We're going to round up the session now with a little bit of accessory work. So here we can do some hamstring work with a foam roller bridge and then we're also going to do some extra bits for the lower leg and the core. So for the foam roller bridge all you need is a foam roller and a mat on the floor. If you don't have a roller then any sort of low step or platform will do. And lie down on my back and the first thing here is to tip the hips back okay so if there's an arch in my lower back here i want to tip the hips back so that arch closes so now there's no gap under here and then as i do that i'm just going to gently lift my bum off the mat okay and now as i do that i'm just lifting the, the bum off the floor and now i can feel my hamstring start to work while i'm holding this position i'm actively trying to pull the roller in and that's really going to get the hamstrings working. And whilst I do that, I'm going to point the toes and lift the heels. So there's quite a bit going on, but it's all explained really clearly and in depth in the video on the app. So tip the hips back, gently raise the hips. And now in this position here, I can really feel the hamstrings working. And this exercise is a hold. And initially, you're going to be working to do a 45 second hold, hopefully without the hamstrings going into a massive cramp. Remember those details. I want to be constantly pulling the roller in to really get the hamstrings working. And by pointing the toe and lifting the heel, you're going to feel those calves working hard as well. As always in the program, there's options. So option one, as I said, is a foam roller. If that's too hard, then actually using a low step or platform or even a weight plate will make it a little bit easier because it's stable, it's not going to roll around. Similarly, if you can do 45 seconds there nice and easy, then you can move on and do this on a single leg as well. Just make sure you're keeping those hips nice and level and watch out, that is going to be hard and it's going to hurt. The next exercise is one that you probably haven't heard of before. It's called a tib ant raise. Tibialis anterior, it's the muscles down the front of your shin, the opposite of your calf, often overlooked but it's all part of the picture of building a strong and robust body that can take anything on and off the trails. So we're going to start off with a casual lean against the wall or like this on the squat rack. And all I'm going to do is with a slight, very slight bend in the knees, is I'm going to pivot on the heels and lift the toes as high as I'll go and slowly down. Okay, that's it. So it doesn't look like much, but if you've never done it before, or anything like it, you're quickly going to feel those muscles in the front of your shin get pretty tired. Now this is sort of exercise that we don't add loads of weight to, but we're going to focus on reps. So initially, we're going to see if you can get to about 15 reps. And if you can't, that's all right. If you get shaky and you just can't get them up anymore, uh, then just do your best, stop there and go again in the next set. Week on week, the idea as with any exercise, is to build the reps, build the weight, build the strength, and that's what progress is all about. The final exercise of this over 40s training session is an extended plank. So it's a variation on the classic plank where you're on your forearms and your toes to really train your core. But what we can do is we can extend the position to make it more intense and therefore do it over a shorter period of time. So we're gonna start off in your normal plank position, elbows under the shoulders, bum nice and tight, and really tuck your hips underneath you to prevent any arching of the lower back. And then all I'm gonna do is shuffle my feet back. And now I'm in this extended position where my elbows are out in front of me and it immediately gets a lot more intense, especially when you're trying to talk while you do it. So you can see there that in that position, that extended position, I have to work a lot harder to hold it rock solid. The key is to go far enough out that you're working hard, but not so far that your back arches or is painful. You really need to squeeze your bum hard, squeeze your core hard and hold that position. Final one, you don't hold your breath. Try and keep your mouth closed, nasal breathing, nice and steady the whole time. And there you go, that's the session complete. All my reps and all my weights have been logged in the training app. That way I know where I'm starting from when I do the next session and I can increase durations and reps and weights as needed as I feel ready. Just to give you a little reminder, we had a couple of supersets. We did, first of all, the rear foot elevated split squat with an active hang and the bottoms up press. That was the first part of the session. The second part was a dumbbell step up with a chin up 
Remember, we've got loads of different options for the chin-up to make sure that you make progress so you get stronger. You should all be able to get to chin-ups at some point, okay? If you're consistent, if you work hard, everyone should be able to do a chin-up. And then we finished off with that assistance work where we worked the tip ant, where we worked the uh, hamstrings on the floor, and then finishing off with that core work in the extended plank. So remember that any training session on its own like this is, is interesting and you might even give this a try. I'd love you to give it a try. But the real value in a training session is when it's in context, when it's a part of a process, a part of a progression. So in the over 40s mountain bike program, this, as I said, is in training block three. So you will start on block one and then block two, then block three, block four, and even block five, building your strength, building your skills, building your robustness so that you're just a better human and a better bike rider all round. And that is the name of the game. It's about being consistent over time, building yourself up and not just doing random workouts. If you enjoyed that, make sure you like and subscribe into the channel and also go and check out the program. Don't tell yourself that you're gonna try it some other time. Oh, I'm gonna start next month. Get on board now, take action, get fitter, get stronger and enjoy your riding more.